take a minute of your time and imagine the world without mathematics. Teaching platform, this is Mr. Mulonga, aka the teacher. My pupils calls me the teacher. We are here to do mathematics indeed. Be ready for the lesson that is coming forth. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Please subscribe so that every time we post a video, you are the first to be notified. We'll be posting videos every day. In this lesson, we are talking about a gradient of a straight line. So, the gradient in this case is going to be calculated from the equation of the straight line. We already have equations of straight lines. We have this equation A, we have B, then we have C. So now our task is to find the gradient for a straight line that produced this equation of a straight line. So basically when you are given a question like that, what you do is you make y the subject of the formula or you convert the equation to the form y is equal to mx plus c. For this general equation of a straight line, m is the gradient. So as long as y is the subject of the formula, then the coefficient of x is your gradient. So they are asking you to, first of all, change this equation to this form, then get the coefficient of x as your gradient. Or this must be written in the form of a general equation of a straight line, which is this one then you pick the gradient from there. So to start with A, we are saying 2y is equal to 7x minus 3, 1. You are finding the gradient. Write this equation in this form, meaning let y be the subject of the formula, or express this in form of y. So we have to actually make y the subject of the formula. How do you go about with that? 2y is equal to 7x minus 3, 1. Divide throughout by 2. So you have 2, 2, 2. Meaning this will go with that. Then you have y is equal to 7 over 2. x minus 3, 1 over 2. Your area of interest is actually to find the gradient. When y is the subject of the formula, the coefficient of x becomes your gradient like that. So, in this case, our m is going to be equal to 7 over 2. You do not leave the final answer like that. You actually reduce the answer. You change it into a mixed fraction. This is an improper fraction. So, we say, therefore, m is equal to 2 into 7. It will go into 6 three times. Then the remainder is 1. Then over 2. This is the gradient. From there, we go to B. For B, we have 7y minus 3x is equal to 5. We have to express this in this form. So we say 7y is equal to 5 minus, sorry, plus 3x. Let the 3x go the other side. So it will become a positive number. Then we have to divide throughout by 7, even here by 7, even there by 7. These two will cancel. You have y is equal to 3 over 7x plus 5 over 7. What is the coefficient of x? The coefficient of x is the m. Therefore, m is equal to 3 over 7. This is your gradient. From there, we have to go to C. For C, you express this in that form. So you have 8x minus 4y equals 12, like that. Then, if you have to express it in this form, then y should be your subject of the formula. Negative 4y is equal to 12 minus 8x. The 8x will go the other side, then it will become a negative. So you divide by negative 4, even there by negative 4, even there by negative 4. When that is done, this will go with that. Negative divided by negative will be positive, so you have y is equal to negative 12 over 4 minus. This will not be minus anymore. Negative divided by negative is positive 8 over 4x like that. 
Now, what is the coefficient? Or oh, this is the same as y is equal to 8 over 4, then x minus 12 over 4. Like that. At this point, you have expressed it in this form. After doing that, you now say m is equal to 8 over 4. 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 8, 2. Therefore, m is equal to 2. This is your gradient. On the solving board, we are asked to find the gradient of each of these two. So, we have already explained the meaning of gradient. In this case, now we have to pick or to calculate the gradient from each of these two. So, how do we do that? To do that, you must always remember that the general equation of a straight line is that y is equal to, so we say solutions, the general equation of a straight line says that y is equal to mx plus c. So in this case, it means you have to write this equation in this form or make y the subject of the formula for this equation, then the coefficient of this x is the gradient, or in short, m is the gradient. So first stage, make, a, make y the subject of the formula. Hence you have negative 3, this is for a, negative 3y is equal to 5. What have I done? I've just moved the 2x the other side, so it will become negative 2x. From there, the next step, what you want to find is y, or you are expressing y as the subject of the formula. So you say negative 3 there, over negative 3 here, over negative 3. You divide throughout by negative 3 so that you just remain y in this position. This will go with that, the negative and negative will also cancel because negative divided by negative is equal to positive. Hence, on your left, you are going to remain with just y, then is equal to negative 5 over 3. There is a negative and a negative there. These two, they will divide. Negative divided by negative is positive, then 2 over 3x. At this point, we have made y the subject of the formula, and this is not different from what we have here. So, you can say y is actually equal to 2 over 3, x minus 5 over 3. At this point, what you have, you can even correspond them. This is your y. This m is this one here. Then this is the x, which you have there. This is the c, which you have here. So, using that, it means we can conclude to say that y is equal to that, but our m is the gradient, which will be 2 over 3. So this is how we obtain gradient from the linear equation. From there, we can go to b. So to answer for b, we have to remove this part so that we have space for answering the next question. For the next question, question b. For B, for B, we have this 2y plus x is equal to negative 4. The first stage, we have to make x, make y rather, the subject of the formula. Hence, we are going to have 2y is equal to negative 4. Then the, neg the, the x will go there, it will be a negative x. So from there, you have to divide by 2, then there by 2 even there by 2. This will cancel with that. Then you have y is equal to negative 4 over 2 minus 1 over 2 x like that. At this point, you have already made y the subject of the formula and you can pick your answer. So if we have to rewrite this one, then it means it will be y is equal to negative 1 over 2 x minus 
minus because 2 there 1 2 there 2 so it will just be minus 2 therefore what is the coefficient of x the coefficient of x is the gradient and our m is actually going to be equal to negative 1 over 2 so the key is to make y the subject of the formula then you pick the coefficient of x as your gradient like in this case the coefficient is negative 1 over 2 make sure that you pick it together with the, the negative and it will be marked as correct this marks the end of our lesson please if you have not subscribed this is the time to do so because every day we'll be posting videos and it's important that every time we post a video you are the first to be notified where you need to comment you need to ask something do not hesitate we value your support, we value your contribution, be it positive or negative, or come on small. And thank you very much for having watched the video. Please share the video with others, let other lovers of mathematics enjoy the mathematics that we are doing on this platform. It's mathematics all the way until Jesus Christ comes. Take a minute of your time and imagine the world without mathematics. We cannot be able to calculate or count the time without the use of mathematics. The calendar that we use is a product of mathematics. We only get to know that this is the year 2020 by the use of mathematics, by following the calendar mathematically. The population of any country is a product of mathematics. You only get to know that it takes nine months for a baby to be born through the use of mathematics. In the medical field, temperatures calculated using mathematics. In the business world, profit and loss is only appreciated by the use of mathematics. A bricklayer uses mathematics to calculate the number of bricks needed for that construction. A carpenter uses mathematics to calculate the gradient of the roof before the roof is put up. A policeman has to count the number of prisoners in that police cell through mathematics. A thief should be able to calculate the hypotenuse of that brick or before falling off that brick or. We all need mathematics. Mathematics runs the world.